Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us learn the example number 3 from chapter 2 triangles. In my previous video, I have completed the theorem 2.1 and 2.2 and also I have solved the example 1 and 2. If you have not watched these videos, please find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So before we begin our video today, please like and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I will be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SS insert math example number three from chapter two triangle says so here there is a triangle given pqr and they are saying as ps by sq is equal to pt by tr that is ps by sq is equal to pt by tr and angle pst the angle pst is equal to angle prq so we have to prove that pqr is an isosceles triangle so first of all, what is an isosceles triangle? Isosceles triangle is a triangle which has any two sides equal. So we have to prove in this triangle any two sides to be equal so that we prove that this triangle is an isosceles triangle. So let us write down first what is given in the question. So they have given us in triangle PQR, PS divided by SQ is equal to PT divided by TR okay and angle PST is equal to angle PRQ okay this angle PST is equal to angle PRQ so what we have to prove so we have to prove that triangle PQR is an isosceles triangle so now let us prove in triangle PQR given that so what have they given PS by SQ is equal to PT by TR. So they have given us PS by SQ is equal to PT by TR. So if we apply the converse of BPT theorem any two sides of a triangle have equal proportion then we can say that the line intersecting the two side is parallel to the third side that is st is parallel to qr okay so therefore we can say that st is parallel to qr this is by theorem 2.2 theorem 2.2 or it is the converse of the bpt theorem so since st is now parallel to qr the st is parallel to QR. So we can say that the corresponding angle, angle S and angle Q are equal. So if you would have studied in your previous classes, if any two lines are parallel and when there is a transversal across this parallel lines, then the corresponding angles are equal. So we have here two parallel lines ST and QR and PQ is the transversal. Okay, so PQ is the transversal. So corresponding angles S and Q will be equal. Okay, so our corresponding angles, if this is S, PST will be equal to angle PQR. Okay, this angle PST and angle PQR are corresponding. Therefore, these two angles will be equal now. So let us write down. Therefore, angle PST is equal to angle pqr let this be 1 and also if you observe what is given in the question angle pst is also equal to angle prq so write down here given angle pst is equal to angle prq let this be so if angle PST is equal to PQR and angle PST is also equal to angle PRQ, then these two angles are equal. Therefore, from 1 and 2, we can say that angle PQR is equal to angle PRQ. Okay, the angle PQR is equal to angle 
PRQ that means this angle and this angle is equal. So in a triangle if any two angles are equal then the sides will also be equal. This also you have studied in your previous classes. So therefore we can write that since angle PQR is equal to angle PRQ then the sides PQ is equal to PR. Then PQ is equal to PR. So we can write in the brackets sides opposite to equal angles are equal. Sides opposite to equal angles are also equal. Right? Therefore this is what we had to prove that PQR is an isosceles triangle. For an isosceles triangle any two sides must be equal. So here we have proved that PQ is equal to PR. Therefore we can say that triangle PQR is an isosceles triangle. So this is how we solve this example number 3 from chapter 2 triangles. If you have any further doubts you can please comment me below in the comment section. In my next video I will be solving question number 1 from exercise 2.2 .2, chapter 2 triangles. So till then please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.